Welcome back to our single player world everybody. Today we are standing in a very unfamiliar spot. I don't know how many people can work out exactly where we are. Maybe the noises are giving it away. But, this is my secret plan. This secret plan to get all these seeds. Look at that. A ridiculous amount. And we are going to be working today on getting that field looking so darn good. And we're going to be doing a lot of work there. Just get ready for it. Prepare yourselves. And before we go any further, I want to quickly go ahead and get this thing started again. Because I've lost my last diamond hoe. I fell into lava. It was a terrible time. But we are back back to back to normal now. I've managed to get myself majority of my tools back up to, in fact, better than what they were. But this one now officially is being restarted. So we've got a lot of diamond hoeing to be doing around the place. Specifically on this field, which I've just gone ahead and cleared out pretty much... <laughs> A ridiculous amount of trees. The large majority of the trees that we're going to need to clear out. It's taken me some time, but I thought, you know what? Because we're going to be doing a lot of big stuff, what might be kind of cool while we while we do some terraforming, while we do some landscaping, is just to go ahead and give ourselves a big, fat time lapse in here right now and clear a large amount of this area out, get this whole place here looking really good. So why don't we just go ahead and start that up? And kicking off this time lapse, we may as well start off by just saying the way I'm doing this beautiful time lapse, and by the way, it is beautiful. It's down to a mod called the Replay Mod. So if you guys want to get your hands on that, you can go ahead, play around with it, and uh, and do some cool stuff like this yourself. There is a link down in the description, just so you know, because people always wonder. But how about we get into what we're doing here? We are currently, I'll, I'll talk to you some about some of the ideas we're doing, and also just what we are getting up to. So my idea is, I want these lands to look like they are smooth, rolling hills more or less like a plane with uh, more or less planes with like a little bit of hills i guess more probably closer to that and if you've seen some of the minecraft uh, custom texture custom terrains that has been have been made i'm really struggling to speak today for some reason probably because of all the what you're about to see let's just put it down i'm gonna blame for what you guys are about to see on why i can't speak today just take it take it that way all right so pretty much what we are trying to do here is just make our own custom terrain that looks very similar to that very smooth hill like terrain and you can see slowly but surely i'm taking out places and smoothening these out and pulling those pieces that were all chopped on top of each other away and making them smooth and i think we've kind of got it right on this what we're doing here where we we do layer by layer that's why i haven't got everything on the left right behind where i was standing just then and that definitely was a good a good way of doing it. Just doing piece by piece so that I know where I'm going. And then I can go ahead and push it back, push it back, push it back until eventually I get to where we need to be. So that's the strategy we're taking here. Now, some of the ideas that we've got for this area are one, uh, by the way, thank you for all the great ideas that I've also received in the last video. And I'll go over some of them. Uh, but one is I want to do a massive, beautiful windmill. Uh, probably a bit further off to the right-hand side over here. And the reason for that is purely because... I ha did a pretty cool windmill in our last world, and I was so proud of that thing. It was one of my favorite builds of all time, and I really loved it. So I was hoping to do something that could maybe top that one, in, in my books at least, and, and hopefully for you guys to do something really awesome for that. That's my plan at least. I'm not too sure whether I'm going to get it right, but it's uh, it's always worth a try. And you know what? We'll, we'll eventually get it right. And besides that, there's a whole bunch of other things uh Implements, for instance, like a, a plow, a, a, I don't know, a few things that could be towed by horses, wagons, carts, stuff along those lines are going to go along paths and in the fields and just be amongst this place to give it a little bit more uh, breaking up, at least in the field itself. And also, um, it makes it feel a bit more like it's lively. And also, by the way, if you guys see a few random little things go weird, fra two frames go weird or whatever, it's whenever you sleep in the bed, it kind of changes the camera to the bed for a fraction of a second and moves away and they they very weird to get rid of it <laughs> uh, but that's just what's happening there by the way uh, besides that we're also going to go ahead and add a barn and the barn I was thinking would be great to have a whole bunch of wheat and a few things like the horses some stables in within the barn uh, and just your your general sort of barn like things but that is also going to be interesting because I'm trying to think of ways that we can make a barn look a little bit more interesting than your average barn. I mean, a barn's got pretty st standard things in. So I'm going to have to go ahead and, and try and get some ideas from you guys. And of course, think of my own ideas for what we could possibly put in to make the barn just that extra little bit better than what your average barn is. I would like to, I'd like to hopefully do that. I'm sure we'll, we'll get that one right. And now back to some of the cool ideas that I got from the last episode and... Of course, we are we are never short of ideas in the, our comment section, let me tell you that. 
Great ideas. Some really cool ones were for the rock, of course, that we, we've got in the middle. And that rock in the middle, I'm, I'm not 100% sure about what I want to do with it just yet. But I, I saw some for, for instance, like a, a secret hidden place under here, or a, a picnic thing on the top. I was thinking more along the lines of keeping the rock a terraformed object or a, a landscaping object. And maybe, just maybe, putting a few tools around the thing. I was thinking that could be somewhere... A bit more organic where people kind of working in the fields take a lunch break or something like that. That would be maybe something a bit more like that. I feel like a picnic table is a bit too advanced for where we are. And things along the lines of uh, a hidden society under there, I would rather pull that one into the city because the city is going to be full of, full of story and full of things like that. So that's my idea with that one there. Now, some of the ideas which were pretty interesting for this were about combating the lag that we could get from all of these tile entities, which I don't think will be an issue to be completely fair, but if it is an issue, maybe it might be an issue in world downloads or something along those lines. Uh, what, we, what we'll have to do is maybe make some of this land plowed. So we make some of this land completely empty and as if it's being built up by, well, being uh, plowed together to be uh, grown on. So that's what I'm hoping to do. Now, when I said I'm losing my mind after doing all this stuff, I truly am. <laughs> uh, doing what we did here, I had a stream earlier today, I cut down a bunch of these trees, we went ahead and flattened this land out, and now we're just going ahead and getting as much of this, uh, much of this pl uh, hoed, I guess, or what would it be, plowed? I don't know. Plowed, and then uh, sown the seeds in here as well, so it's it's definitely taking, taking a long while. Probably this whole area today I've worked on yeah, definitely at least eight hours. It doesn't actually feel like it right now, but it's been a very, very long time. But I've I've thoroughly enjoyed this project so far, and but basically these big projects like this, I never I can never get enough of them. So what we're going to do now is we're getting pretty low on our hoe here to get that achievement. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump back down to the floor, and we're going to see how that's going for us. And this is pretty much the end of me <laughs> hoeing these things for today. Or plowing, really, I guess, the equivalent of... I don't know what it would be, but either way, I'm I'm done with it. Now, as far as I'm concerned, that little replay thing, the little replay mod, replay, you just saw the uh, time lapse. I don't actually know what this place looks like from above, so uh, you've got a better point of view than I do. But one thing we do have... Oh, I've got to fix up these here. Let's just leave them for now. We'll go avoid this area here a little bit. We'll just do that so we don't see them. But uh, for now, I can tell you the amount of diamond hoeing of the ground that I've done has been ridiculous. It has been absurd. And I really... I know I've still got a bit more to do, quite a bit more to do. But I really don't want to see this thing for a while. This project's actually taken quite a bit of time, to, to be completely honest, but it's it's so worth it, man. It's uh, It's been... been looking pretty good from down here. Take it that way. It would be really awesome if there was some way that we could keep crops in this infantile state. So you can see that, for instance, these were the original ones that I placed at the beginning of this episode. And look at these. These are still stuck on nothing. And you got some that are in between, in between until I get to the, the full ones. It looks really awesome. Look at that. Imagine just having the field full of them. If there was only a Minecraft magic spell or something that could do that, that would be awesome. And by the way, I'm loving this little bit of pods all sticking out the bottom there as if it's a little bit of moss growing on the, on the sides. I'm actually going to keep that there. I think it looks pretty cool. But one thing we are close to right now is getting ourselves that achievement. Now, one thing I'm interested in is whether or not the achievement is set up as to pick up any diamond hoe or specifically an unenchanted diamond hoe. I think it would be the same case as far as as far as far I understand the way that it would work. Uh, I would imagine it would be the same case. But hey, we're about to do it now for the first time ever. And we're about to do it legitimately. No silly contraptions to help us along the way. The only contraption that's helped us is to get all this, uh, to get all these seeds. So how much are we on right now? Five, okay. Does that take us down to four? Four? Okay, yeah, this might take a while. And it's about to, it would be about to, okay, let's check. What is that? Oh, one durability. Okay. Oh, the suspense is going to kill me. Look at this. Oh, one more. This thing is indestructible. Come on. <laughs> Man, this, it's going to happen any second. This is this is like when you when you downloading something or when you you charge your phone and it just takes forever. This is exactly what's happening here. We've run out of more of these. And by the way, if you're wondering how many just how many seeds we've used, that that was way more than what we needed. And now it's getting nighttime. Okay, 
Let's do it. If you're wondering how many seeds we use, we've used four shul four shulker box inventories worth. This is it. This is it. It has to be it. What is it on zero now? Yes. Look at that. <laughs> oh yeah, we finally got it. All right, that is kind of underwhelming, but very very welcomed. And actually, you know what? A lot of this area is going to be unspawnable. Think about that. There's all these crops here. I'm pretty sure mobs can't spawn in the crops. So we've made this kind of unspawnable, and those are a mountain sheep, the equivalent of a mountain goat, but in sheep form. But this is doing fantastic. I'm very happy with the way this place is turning up from down the bottom here. So, of course, as I say, you guys know how it looks from the top there, but I don't. So let's have a sneaky little peek up the top here. This has been my lookout, actually. Somewhere around here, some of these trees are pretty good for me. This one might actually be probably one of the better ones to stop at. Let's have a look there. Oh, that's too far. There we go. That's good. Yeah, that is looking so good. That spider better not- Oh, you, oh, you spider. Why would you do that to my crops? Look at it. It's just- It's- <laughs> oh, Okay, that's fine. But look at that. That's very, very cool. This is actually the first night time in this place. That is awesome. Someone actually mentioned to put lights in here, and I didn't like the idea of it, and I still don't like the idea of lights, but I think they would look so darn good, though. They would. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call that all the all the hoeing we're doing for today. I've got a, a half-used normal hoe, which was the one I was actually looking for last episode that I couldn't find. So we're going to use that. And what we may as well do now is we may as well step down, get rid of the night, and get going on some other stuff in this area, which I think will be a perfect kind of way to step away from all, all of this. And the way we're going to try and maintain my sanity with all this cropping is by adding a little bit of something to this road over here. I think what we've done today, because it has been a crazy amount of time, it's been a very, very large amount of time, but I've been enjoying, I've been enjoying seeing this area just come together overall. It's it's beautiful, actually, the way, the way it ha is happening. And I've just realized I've probably forgotten the important blocks right here for what we're about to do. And what I want to do is I want to add in maybe just a little bit of an interesting build. You know, those builds that don't take up too much space, but add a lot of detail. And here we go. Right where, right where I left him. Perfect. I think I've got everything I need right now. And that is going to be tying into what we have over in the snow village, where we've got a whole bunch of wheat wagons carrying the wheat from probably over here. I've, I've never really made this correlation until about five minutes ago. I was like, you know what, that, that's just a, the perfect idea. I wanted to do this and I just realized why it's such a fantastic idea. Wheat wagons move down this road. Well, I don't know if it's a wagon. It's a wagon. It's a wagon. You'll see. It's a wagon. I think it's a wagon. Uh, move down this road with the wheat that's been collected from this. I think that's a fantastic way of doing it, in my opinion. I think that would be very good. But look at that. How cool would it be if we could pause crops? You know what? I'm very tempted right now to try and create... I don't know if you can do it with tile entities. I know you can do it with normal blocks. But uh, to create some variable things. But no. You know what? Don't get too carried away with it. Like in, in your textures. You can you can make textures variable. But I'm, I'm not going to actually do that. That's... Yeah, I, that's too much. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is we're going to put in a little bit of a wagon, probably around here on the side, just as if it's gathering some stuff up from over here. And I know we're taking, getting rid of some of the good stuff. Don't worry. I understand that. Did I? Okay, I, I just got rid of that now, apparently. Uh, but yeah, we're getting rid of some of the good stuff, but that's fine. It's not a big deal because we're about to get ourselves a whole bunch better stuff. And yeah, that's going to that's gonna go away real quick. So... I've been working a bit recently in the other village, in the main city, the big city, and what I've been doing is I've been doing a bit of work on wagons and carts, and I've got some good stuff to show you guys when we go back there. I'll tell you that it's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. I hope you guys enjoy it because uh, there's some there's some pretty cool things there. And what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and use some of the knowledge that I've learned about making carts and stuff along those lines to make this a little bit more interesting. And what our issue is over here, what it's gonna be is. Yeah, well, you'll see. We, the way I do this is, what I'm about to do is going to be on a half block, which is kind of annoying. I don't know why I just moved stuff around there. Uh, it's going to be kind of annoying because it's on a half block, but it's still going to look alright. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this little wagon over here. So I think what we'll do is we'll go... Actually, I could get away with this like this. Just actually bear with me. I might actually be able to get this right. And I also need to do this. I need to get some of these for wheels. And some of these. Now, we're going to start off kind of weird with this. The wheels are always going to be a bit weird. It is Minecraft. That is that is what it is. You know how it is. And the way that Minecraft works is you're just not going to be able to get all everything rounded and looking good. And also, you, you're probably going to forget your, your axe. So you're just going to have to chop stuff with the 
with <laughs> with one of these shovels. Uh, so what we need is we need one of those. We need some of these. Uh, those there. Maybe even those could be useful. And we're going to make a little bit of a, a spot over here. In fact, yeah, we do want them. So if we do something like that, we do something over here like this. And this is going to make some pretty cool wheels to work with. And you can tell with the, that w the sorry, the walls that we've got. There. I was about to say wooden, but the walls uh, that we have there, they are not very good for wheels. But you know what? As far as what I can find out, they're the best that we have. A lot of people will suggest doing what uh, just by well, what I've done here where before I've put these on by leaving that on there. But I, I honestly don't like the look of that. I think it looks a bit too simple. Uh, I guess it maybe looks a bit more like a wheel individually, but as an overall build, it definitely doesn't look like a wheel. So I, I'm not a big fan of that idea myself. And what we'll do is over here, let's just do something like this. There. There. And now what we want to do is we want to make a little bit more of the wagon sort of look like this. And in fact, I have got something to actually break these, which is fantastic. So we can do something like this. There. And then, oh. <laughs> I didn't actually press jump there. Do I, I might even have auto jump on, perhaps. Let's try the, that out for height. We'll see how this looks. So if we get rid of them, take a step back. Yeah, uh, I'm going to have to get rid of maybe this one here. In fact, this could take care of a lot of our wheel issue. Just having it hidden by this over here. There, like those. And then maybe some of these to just edge off these sides, like that. Yeah, that'll work quite well, in fact. Uh, besides that, but this is going to be covering up that area there. And in fact, if I can get a grass block in here, can I pick that one up? I'll trade you. How about that? And then we put that one there. I should be able to get some tall grass growing here. So if we do this. Yeah, that actually does a very good job of distracting from it. So we can do that. We can go ahead and add this in here. Get seven of them so that we don't have any leftover sticks. And then do that. There. Beautiful. And that we can maybe put a little rail on there and we'll do it over well we need that put that there purely because of the the width of this so we have to do that we'll have to do that and that's just because when we put those two close together i know it seems kind of wide can we get away, get away with it possibly but uh it just seems kind of wide and, and that'll look a bit funny so we'll go ahead get rid of these and i do need to get some of those actually does this Okay, still detects those seeds when you when you pick block that. That's interesting. So let's get this going here. There, there, there. And I guess the same thing repeated. So you see, this is what I like to do. Build one side and see how it looks. I'm actually going to go grab another hoe and just get rid of this here so we can plant some stuff in front of it. Uh, but the majority of this is pretty straightforward from now. We're going to repeat the same thing over again. And we'll see how that turns out. And what I do need, though, to finish this off, this is actually some really good... Really good finishing off of the, the front piece, at least, before we before we go ahead and duplicate a lot of stuff over. We'll do that. We'll do one, two, three, four, I think. I'm pretty sure that gives us what we need. Yeah, perfect. I'll show you what I'm talking about. In fact, we've got one extra. If we do something like this over here, um, one more higher, I guess, there. And yeah, this is just because of these, actually. Well, that's interesting. Um, Height-wise... No, I'm going to have to do it on this level, actually. Never mind, I'm wrong. So I'll move these in. I want to see how this thing looks when it's completely finished. Boy, was that refreshing. That is, That was good to kind of get that out the way. Get a little bit of building done. And by the way, this is what it's looking like. A bit boxy, I agree. But from afar, look at this. It's It actually works quite well. Let me let me do this. And and really, remember, this, this whole part of this world is all about this path. And your way from the main, the main entrance, at least along here on your way to eventually the main the main city of this place and i think that looks very good in the in there just kind of breaks this area up a little bit while continuing this on i think this works very well so what i'm going to do by the way in between this episode and the next when i when i'm finished with all this stuff i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to try fill in as much of this stuff as possible i would imagine this is probably like 40 minutes to an hour of filling up. It actually takes quite a lot of time just putting these things in. Uh, but yeah, that's that's what I'm going to go do. But this over here was very, very simple and very, very good to kind of get your, get my mind back onto this sort of stuff. I'm looking forward to doing some plows and doing some things along those lines in this place. After doing a wagon, I think we could really get a, get away with a good, like, uh, a good bit of 
implements and uh, equipment around the place. I think that would work fantastically. And just overall, a few more things. For instance, the big buildings, they are going to be a bunch of fun. And we're probably going to get started on some of that sort of stuff in the next episode. I think we've, we've definitely got our terraforming and landscaping going good. I'm going to AFK, get this stuff going. But for today, guys, thank you very much for joining me. I'm, I'm glad to have spent this time getting some cool stuff done. And it's very, very much worth it. And I, I can see this product turning out as we're going through here. So thank you very much for joining me, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.